Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. Alright so the Sands are doing better than they were doing at the start of the season. We are in second place. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to catch up to Pittsburgh. Uh, they are maybe a little bit too strong, so hopefully we don't have to face them in the playoffs. Maybe somebody's gonna take care of them for us. Uh, that would be pretty grand. But uh, anyway, um, I, the trade deadline is passed, so I can't really make a trade or anything like that. But uh, we do have a pretty busy month of March ahead of us. Uh, lots of games so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, going soon here we have only one injury left Sim Gleason is day to day uh, he's not able to play at the moment but he should be back soon so the first team that we are going to be facing in March is the Pittsburgh Penguins who are first in the East as I just alluded to uh, they are 51 10 and 4 that is a really 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 good record and we are 0 2 and 1 against them this season so we have not won against Pittsburgh so far uh, this year all right so we are hosting them the game is in Ottawa so let's get going Alrighty, so Pittsburgh is sending Marc-Andre Fleury in net. We are going with Ryan Metter. Go, Sens, go. Oh, we won that one, 3-1. to one. So a first win against Pittsburgh this season. Uh, we outshot Pittsburgh, 40-18. to 18. Matt Stajan was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Yaramir Jagger was the second star with an assist. And Pavel Datsyuk was the third star with two goals. We did have 18,692 people in attendance for that game in Ottawa. Alright, so nobody scored in the first period. Then in the second, we had Christian Eroff open up the scoring for Pittsburgh. And then Andre Mizaros tied the game with his 10th uh, of the season short-handed from Brooks Like and Patrick Eves. And it was tied at 1 after 2. Then in the third period, we had a couple goals by Pavel Datsyuk, so Datsyuk, yeah, and they were both on the power play. So the first one from Jordan Leopold and Matt Stajan, and then the second one from Marianosa and Matt Stajan as well. So 3-1 to one was the final score with Pavel Datsyuk getting the game winner. All right. Scott Niedermeyer has tallied 1,250 games played in his career. And that happened against Montreal and he celebrated with an assist, although he didn't celebrate all that much because his team got rot 9-1. Uh, so Scott Niedermeyer, 34 years old, two and a half star defenseman, so he might be declining a little faster than he did in real life. Matthew Schneider has a memorable game in that game against New Jersey. He had four goals and an assist for a defenseman. That's pretty good. And Eugene Melnick is very happy. We went 8-3-3 three, and three last month. Alright, and now it's uh, off to the American West Coast where we're going to be playing... Uh, in California mostly. Matt Molson extends his goal streak to six games with a goal against the Islanders. So Matt Molson playing for the Panthers in my universe right now. Alright, and we are now about to play against the Anaheim Ducks. So Anaheim is 33, 30, and 4 this season, so that's not that great, uh, not too terrible either. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at their lineup, because that's the first time we faced them this year. 
right, so no injuries. So what we see here is their best lineup. So Jonas Eller and Ilya Brzezgalov in net. Uh, Zdenek Kutlak, Nolan Pratt, Ladislav Schmid, Greg Zanon, Mark Popovich, and Alexei Zitnikandi. That's not that great. They're a little bit better up front. Uh, Kunitz, Lupo, Miller, Chad Kilger, Bobby Ryan, Zvidov, Getzlaff, Ryan, uh, Brandon Reed, Brian Smolinski, Andy McDonald, Paul Carrier. Andreas Dako, Pierre Alexandre Parantou, and Corey Perry. All right, let's see if we can beat the Ducks. Ryan Miller is in net for us, and he's going to face Ilya Brzezgalov. And we won 5 to 2. Pretty good game on the road. So we outshot Anaheim 45 to 23. J uh, Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had four assists. Jason Spezza was the second star with two goals and an assist. And Pavel Datsuk was the third star with an assist. Lots of goals in the first period. So Mark Strait opened up the scoring from Pavel Datsuk and Joe Thornton. And then Strait scored again from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton. It was 2 0 at that point. Then Anaheim scored and made it 2 1. Then Marion Osa scored from Brooks Like and Patrick Eliash. And then Jason Spezza from Anton Volchenkov and Joe Thornton. 4 1 after 1. And in the second period, we had Jason Spezza score on the power play from Michael Ryder and Joe Thornton. Then Anaheim scored, made it 5 2. <clears throat> then we would go to the third period. Bunch of penalties, but nobody scored, and 5 to 2 was the final score. A night to remember for Joe Thornton, who had four assists, as we saw. Then Corey Perry extended his goal streak to five games with a goal against us in that game. Actually, a goal and an assist. All right, and next up is in San Jose. No additional missed time for San Jose's Josh Gorges. All right, so no suspension for him. Tim Gleason might be back soon. And Roman Turek is available on waivers. Not picking him up. I don't need a 37-year-old goaltender. That's alpha star talent. Scott Thornton is available, also not picking him up. Good game for David Backus in St. Louis. He had three goals and two assists against the Kings. Passes on point for Michael Enzos in that same game. He had four assists. Uh, Garrett Stafford in Pittsburgh is suspended. He's going to miss three games. Alright, now we are about to play the Sharks. The Sharks are... Well, this record a little bit similar to the Ducks. They are 30, 27 and 9. That's not great. That's not terrible either. So let's take a look at their lineup. First time we're playing them this season. Alright, so Willie Mitchell is hurt. with a broken kneecap that probably hurts like hell and then Ray Whitney is also injured he's not going to play this game so in net they have Mika Kiprusov and Matty Kaltianen can't say I'm super familiar with him uh, so that's who they have in net. Kiprusov, of course, is a pretty good goaltender. And Jason Collymore, Josh Gorgeous, Brad Stewart, uh, Niemi Kolayakovo, Matt Carl, uh, Anders Eriksson, and Scott Annan on D. It's, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, really. Uh, Ryan Craig, McLaren, Mitchell, Whitney, Baudouin, Marcel Gotch, uh, Victor Kozlov, Pascal Rion, Pavel Bure, Milan Makalik, Joe Pavelski, Adam Mayer, and Lukas Kaspar are playing 
at forward. Yeah, we should be able to beat them. Their team is not terrible, but it's not great either. Kind of like their record is kind of accurate, I would think. All right, Ryan Miller in net again for us. He's gonna face Keeper Suff. And we won 4 to 1. All right, we've won every game so far this month. We have outshot the Sharks 42 to 10. Andre Mizaros was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Jason Spezza was the second star with two assists. And Mike Fisher was the third star with an assist. Sharks open up the scoring in the second period. And then Andre Mizaros tied the game from Petri Keeves and Mike Fisher. Then in the third period, we had Michael Ryder score his 10th on the power play from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton. Then Michael Ryder again on the power play from Zdeno Scher and Jason Spezza. And finally, Andre Mizarro scored in an empty net from Sheldon Sorry and Mariano Osa. And 4 to 1 is how this game ended in San Jose. Suspension over for uh, Cal Quincy. He is back in the lineup in St. Louis. And Tim Gleason is ready to come back, which is good news. We could use him. And now we are playing in LA against the Kings. It's a little bit tougher for the Kings this season compared to the other California teams. They are 26, 37 and 5 this season. As with the other teams, we have not faced them this season. Alexander Frolov is hurt, so he's not going to be playing this game. So, who do, they, who do they have? So, with net, it's Jonathan Bernier and Jonathan Quick. They're both young. Uh, Quick is a two star, but they both have pretty good potential. On D, it's Paul Martin, Brian McKay, Blubomir Vishnevsky, Douglas Murray, Rob Blake, Andy Delmore, Kimo Timonid, Keith Ballard, and Sammy Sell. Wow. They have a lot of D. Um, that D is pretty decent for the most part. Um, let's take a look at Brian McCabe. I know last we looked at him, he was really struggling. Uh, he's turned it around a little bit, but even then, 12 points in 60 games, that's way below. Look at those penalty minutes. Woof. 347. I mean, he was always penalized quite a bit for us, but that's something else over there. I don't know. He's in LA now. Maybe he's uh, feeling like a big shot or something. <clears throat> All right. So uh, up front, it's Bednar, Camilleri, Brian Wilson, Anton Carter, Craig Conroy, and Zikapitar, Trevor Lewis, Steve Conowolchuk, Doug, uh, Dustin Brown. Eric Belanger, Yannick Leou, and Tukonen. Uh, they have. Honestly, I think they probably should have a better record than what they show. Their team is not that terrible. Alright, so Brian Elliott in net for us, and he's gonna face Jonathan Quick. And we won 3 1, so. California trip was perfect this season. Uh, we outshot the Kings 50 to 15. Jonathan Quick was the first star of the game. Uh, despite the loss, he made 47 saves. Dustin Brown was the second star with a goal, and Ryan Callan was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, so the Kings open up the scoring in the first, then we scored twice. Ryan Callan from Martin Avlet and Alexander Redlov, and then Pavel Datsuk from Jason Spezza. 2-1 to one after one. And then we have to wait all the way to the third period to see another goal, where Mike Fisher scored in an empty net from Ryan Callan, made it 3-1, to one. and of course that's how the game ended. Good game for Pierre Marc Bouchard, who had a hat trick three goals against Carolina. Joe Sakic has arrived at 1500 games played. That's a pretty good mile milestone that happened against Anaheim. He didn't get a point to celebrate, and Sakic is now 38 years old and a two and a half star talent. 
And no further punishment for Jean-Guy Trudel with the Pittsburgh Penguins, not suspended. And Ilya Kovalchuk extends his goal streak to five games with two goals against the Wild. All right, and now we are going to be playing in Phoenix against the Coyotes. Phoenix is also struggling. They are 25, 36, and 7. And of course, we have not played them this season, so let's take a look at their lineup. <clears throat> so they have only one injury, and it's Chris Draper, who may or may not play that game. He has a bruised hand. Now, in net, they have an aging Nikolai Bibulin, and then Scott Darling is the backup. So it's getting a little bit weak there. Yeah, their lineup is a little bit weak. The D's not that great either. Henrik Talender, Shane Morrison, Jason Smith, Chris Allen, Semyonov, Numenen, Popes. Yeah, you know, when your best defenseman is 39, it's, it's kind of tough. Uh, Shane Doan, Kevin Porter, Blake Wheeler, Keith Kitschuk, Seabach, Draper, Gamash, Briere, McElean, and Zamnov, Dupuy, Winnick, Samuelson, and Schustrom. So the forwards are not too bad, but the goaltending and the D is really not all that great. I mean, Abby Boleyn is getting older here. <coughs> Ryan Miller in net for us and Nikolai Bibelin in net for the Coyotes. And we won 5 0 in the dessert. We outshot the Coyotes 42 7. Marian Osa was a first star with a goal and an assist. Chris Kelly was a second star with two assists. And Patrick Eliash was a third star with a goal and an assist. So we have Pavel Datsuk opening up the scoring in the first from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza and then Patrick Eliash from Marianosa and Chris Kelly 2-0 after one. And then we score two more goals in the second period. We have Patrick Eve scoring his 10th from Mike Fisher, then Marianosa from Chris Kelly and Patrick Eliash and it was 4-0 after two. And then finally in the third period, Michael Ryder scored from Sheldon Surrey and Ryan Cannon. 5 nothing is the final score. And Joe Thornton is hurt. And he has a dislocated jaw. Well, he might be able to play with it, so we're gonna we're just gonna leave him in the in there. We'll leave it to Lindy Ruff to decide if he wants to use him or not. A night to remember for Louis Erickson playing for Montreal. So he had a hat trick against the Kings. Alright, so we're going back home to play one game against the Bruins. Daniel Sedin extends his point straight to 12 games. He had a goal against the Kings. Alright, so the Bruins are in town. So the Bruins are pretty good. Uh, they are 42 20 and 7 which is good for 6th in the East. Uh, we are 3-1-1 one one against the Bruins this year, so we have a pretty good record against them, but they did beat us a couple times. <clears throat> Back on home ice, let's hope we get a win. So it's going to be Yevgeny Nabokov in net for the Bruins, and we are going to Ryan Miller. And we lost in overtime, 3-2, to two. so we did get a point, but the Bruins managed to beat us again. Uh, we outshot the Bruins 35-28 to 28 in that game, so the shots were pretty even. Uh, 
we did get a few more but not too terrible and Nate Thompson, Thompson sorry for Boston was a first star he had an assist Joe Thornton was a second star with an assist and Sandis Ozolinch was a third star with an assist as well we had 16,787 people in attendance for this game so uh, Jason Spets opened up the scoring in the first from Pavel Datsyuk and Joe Thornton it was one nothing after one then nobody scored <clears throat> in the second period and in the third period Boston tied the game then we took the lead again it was Marion Osa is 15th from Zden Osher and Mike Fisher and then Boston tied the game again so this went to overtime uh, there was a Brett Clark and Zden Osher fight in the third so nobody scored in overtime and then it went into the shootout where we did get Spezza to score a goal but then Frederick Modine and Phil Kessel scored for Boston <coughs> and we lost this 3-2 Good night for Todd Bertuzzi, still playing for the Islanders. He had three goals and an assist against the Lightning. And in that same game, Franz Nielsen had four assists. Pretty good game. All right, and we are now going to be playing in Montreal. Daniel Sedin extends this point streak to 13 games. He had two assists against the Ducks. And the Ilbert is suspended. He's going to miss two games in Florida. Rod Brennamore is going to miss eight games with the Flyers. Got suspended as well. Yarmir Jagger has a memorable game. He had a hat-trick against Buffalo. And Garrett Stafford's suspension in Pittsburgh is over. And we are now about to play in Montreal, like I just said. Uh, we are going to be playing the Abs. So the Abs are doing pretty good this season. They are 48, 19, and 4. That is good for fourth in the east 100 points and they're fourth in the east uh, we are 2-2-1 two, two and one against Montreal this season so a little win here would be pretty nice it's in Montreal we're facing Carey Price we're going with Ryan Miller and we lost 42 against the Habs I don't like that <coughs> We outshot Montreal 46 to 19. Thomas Placanitz was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Brooks Like was a second star with a goal, and Carey Price was a third star with 44 saves in that one. Montreal opened up the scoring in the first, and then. Oh wow. So there was a fight in the first period, and it was Andre Markov and Brooks Like. I don't think I ever remembered. Uh, Andre Markov ever fighting, but uh, there he is, a fight against Brooks Lake. Then Montreal scored two more goals into the second period, so after two it was 3 nothing Montreal. And Brooks Lake scored his 15th, short-handed from Sheldon Surrey, made it 3-1, to one, but Montreal scored seven seconds later on the power play. And then Jason Spezza scored his 35th on the power play from Zdeno Osher and Michael Ryder. We were losing 42 at that point with 3.16 left to go in the third period. We could never tie the game. Couldn't beat Carey Price again and we lost 42. Suspension over for Dion Feneuf in Calgary. Back in the lineup. Adam Foote has reached 1,250 games played in his career, celebrated with an assist against the Oilers. Adam Foote, 36 years old, a star and a half player. Zach Parise extends his goal streak to five games with two goals against the Wild. Mike Camilleri has a good game. He had, oh dear God, yes, he had five goals against Nashville. 
No further discipline for Blake Wheeler of Phoenix. Not suspended. Daniel Sedin extends his point streak to 14 games with a goal against Phoenix in that same game. Nice little run for Daniel Sedin there. Alright, and we are going to be playing in Carolina in a couple days here against the Hurricanes. Uh, suspension for Nigel Dawes with the Rangers. He's going to miss six games. And same for Tim Jackman, suspended for the Rangers as well. Uh, he's going to miss four games. Makes you wonder what happened in that game to have two players from the same team suspended. Zach Parisi extends his goal straight to six games with a goal against the Avalanche. And Daniel Sedin point streak ended at 14 games. He was held scoreless against Dallas. Alright, so we are about to play the Hurricanes. They are struggling this year. They are 30, 38, and 5. That's good for 11th in the East. Uh, I don't think they're going to be in the playoffs. Uh, they are 15 points behind. Alright, so we are 2 and 1 against the Hurricanes this year. Yeah, let's see if we can beat them again in Carolina. Ryan Miller in net for us. Cam Ward in net for the Hurricanes. We won 4-2. So we weren't on a losing streak for very long. Uh, we outshot the Hurricanes 49-21 to in that one. Marianosa was the first star of the game. He had two goals. David Steckel was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Pavel Detuk was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. All right, so we scored three goals in the first. Pavel Detuk scored his 30th on the power play from Jason Spitza. Then Marianosa scored from Mike Fisher. And Osa again from Mark Streit and Brooks like 3 nothing after one. In the second, the Hurricane scored, made it 3-1. And then they made it 3-2 uh, in the third period, but then Jason Spezza scored with 15 seconds left to go in the game from Pavel Datsuk and Mark Streit, and 4-2 was the final score. Bjorn Millen is available, not picking him up. Steve Montador is suspended uh, in Columbus. He's going to miss one game. May he rest in peace. Kenny Janssen has played in a thousand games for the Florida Panthers. That happened against Atlanta. Didn't get a point. 20, uh, 33 years old Kenny Janssen one star player <coughs> suspension over for Andy Ilbert uh, he is back in the lineup suspension for Ryan Malone in Pittsburgh he's going to miss four games strong night for Sidney Crosby in that same game he had three goals and an assist against the Flyers And Carey Price signed an extension in Montreal. He's going to make 3.71 million a year for three years. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is bothering me. All right, we are going to be hosting the Blues here in a few days. Rory Fitzpatrick is available. I'm not picking him up. Sergey Brennan has a strong game for the Flames. He had a hat trick against Columbus. Uh, speaking of Columbus, Steve Montador is back in the lineup after serving his suspension. And Joe Thornton is does not have a dislocated jaw anymore. 
So his uh, giant beard is not all out of whack anymore. Although back then he didn't have a giant beard, I don't think. Martin Prusak is available. Nope. He had a couple of chucky sons at this point, straight to 12 games. He had a goal and two assists against Carolina. Nice little streak for Kovalchuk. Sergei Zubov extends his assist streak to eight games with an assist against the Devils. And we are about to play the St. Louis Blues at home. So St. Louis is not doing all that great this year. They are 33, 34, and 6. Let's take a look at their lineup. It's the first time we're facing them this season. All right, so they do have Zinoviev that's hurt, so he's not going to be playing this game. All right, and in net it's Ben Bishop and Jan Dennis, Andy Green, Kyle Quincy, Kultanen, Hutchinson, Johnson, Polak, Rowe, Chandy. That's acceptable. Platt, Avery, Shannon, Zinoviev, Riku All, Patrick Berglund, Michael Enzos, Jamie Clement, Dennis Arkipov. Huh. There you are. <coughs> uh, Wayne Primo, David Backus, Yann Leperrier, Lee Stepniak, and Mark Rycroft. Uh, it's not a great team. They have a few decent players, but that's about it. We should be able to beat them. Ben Bishop is going to be in net for St. Louis. We are going to Ryan Miller. And we won 4-1. We outshot the Blues 40 to 13. Patrick Elias was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Zdeno Shara was the second star with an assist, and Joe Thornton was the third star with an assist as well. We had 15,569 people in attendance for this game. Pavel Datsuk was the first one to score a goal in this game. That happened in the first period from Patrick Elias and Zdeno Shara. It was one nothing after one. Then Michael Ryder made it 2 0 from Jordan Leopold and Chris Kelly. And then Patrick Eliash scored his 8 on the power play from Joe Thornton. It was 3 0. And then St. Louis scored, made it 3 1 after 2. And then in the third period, Marianosa scored from Brooks Like and Jason Spezza. It was 4 1. And that's the final score nobody else would score a goal Brad Moran is available Mikhail Samuelson extends his goal streak to five games he had a goal and an assist against the Kings Ilya Kovalchuk extends this point streak to 13 games with a goal against the Capitals. There was no stopping Vili Peltonen, who had three goals and an assist against the Devils. Pretty good game. Sergei Zubov's assist streak ended at eight games, did not get a point against Philadelphia. Uh, Tim Jackman eh, with the Rangers is back from suspension. Prolific passing night for Andy McDonald, who had a goal and four assists against the Sharks. Pretty good game. Alright, and we are about to play against Toronto at home. So there's one, two, three, four, five games left in March of 2008. So Toronto is doing good. They are 49, 21, and 5. That's good for 5th in the East. <coughs> and we are 3-3 three and three against Toronto this season. So Ty Conklin is in net for the Leafs. And we are going to Ryan Matter. Let's get the upper hand in the season series here. And we did! 3-1 win at home against Toronto. 
we outshot them 36 to 20. Mark Strite was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Brad Boys was the second star with a goal as well. And Patrick Elias was the third star with an assist. 17,206 people in attendance for that game. Uh, Toronto opened up the scoring in the first, but then Tim Gleason tied it up from Joe Thornton and Anton Volchenkov. It was tied at one after one. And in the second period, Mark Streit scored from Martin Avlet and Michael Ryder, made it 2-1 Suns, and that was a game winner, although he didn't know that at that point. And then in the third period, Brooks like scored in an empty net from Marianosa and Patrick Elias, and 3-1 is our final score today in Ottawa. Roman Hammerlick has competed in a thousand games playing for Colorado. He had an assist against Edmonton, 33 years old. Roman Hammerlick, two star player. I wasn't very happy with him and I decided to move away from him. And it doesn't look like he had a great career or anything like that. Memorable game for Daniel Markov, who had three goals and an assist against Colorado in that same game. Stephen Wise has a strong game for Montreal. He had a hat-trick against Boston. Memorable night for Corey Perry in Anaheim. He had four goals and an assist against Phoenix. Another pretty good performance there. Mikhail Samuelson extends his goal streak to six games with a goal against Anaheim in that same game. And a good night for Sidney Crosby who had four assists against the Devils. And Sid the Kid comes as advertised. Alright, and we are now playing against the uh, Montreal Canadiens again. We're going to try to avenge our loss against them recently. We are 2-3-1 and one against Montreal so far this year. Montreal is still fourth in the East with a 52-20-4 record. All right, playing in Montreal, a carry prize for them. We're going to Brian Elliott for that one. Let's see if it's going to give us some luck. And we won 5-4 in overtime, so that was a pretty tight game. We did outshoot Montreal 35-28. to Ryan Callahan was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Steven Weiss was the second star of the game with three assists. And Jason Spezza was the third star with two goals and an assist. All right, so Spezza opened up the scoring on the power play from Pavel Datsyuk and Joe Thornton. And then Montreal tied the game, and then Pavel Datsyuk scored on the power play as well from Jordan Leopold and Jason Spezza. It was 2-1 Sens after one. Then in the second period, Montreal tied the game, and it was tied at two. Then Montreal took the lead in the third, but Ryan Callan tied it up from Sheldon Surrey and Mike Fisher. Then we took the lead. It was Jason Spezza on the power play from Mark Streit and Patrick Elias. And then Montreal tied the game. That went to overtime. Nobody scored. And then in or in the shootout, Pavel Datsuk was the only one to score, and we won this five to four. Oh. They might change the coach for the Islanders. Ted Nolan might lose his job. And the Islanders are doing terrible. They are 24, 46, and 7 this season. And Ryan Malone is back from suspension in Pittsburgh. Back in the lineup. All right. And then we are playing in Buffalo. So the Sabres not doing good this season. Actually, it's going to be a home and home against them. Uh, they are 25, 48, and 2 this season. That's good for 14th in the East. And we are 5 0 oh, 1 against Buffalo this season. Alright, and Ryan Matter is going to be in net for us. He's going to face Tim Thomas. Oof, we won that one 9 to 2. Alright, my poor throat. <laughs> um, we outshot the Sabres 74 to 19. <laughs> Yikes. 
Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had three goals and four assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with three assists. And Zdeno Shar was the third star with three assists as well. All right, and we took a, a small 7 nothing lead into the first period. So Pedro Detsuk scored from Andre Mizaros and Marianosa, then Spezza from Shara and Thornton, Mark Streit from Marianosa and Jason Spezza, and then Brooks Like from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton, Michael Ryder on the power play from Jason Spezza, and then Michael Ryder on the power play again, it was his 15th of the season from Mark Streit and Jason Spezza, and Ryan Callan from Matt Stajan and Michael Ryder, it was 7 nothing Suns, after one. Then in the second period, Buffalo scored twice, made it 7 2. But we decided that we wanted to win by seven goals, I guess. Uh, Jason Spezza scored his 40th of the season from Joe Thornton and Zdeno Oshar, and then finally Jason Spezza from Zdeno Oshar and Brooks Like. 9 2 is the final score. What a massacre in Buffalo. Red light stays on for Jason Spitza, who had three goals and four assists, as we saw. Alright. Uh, Garnet Exelby is available, not picking him up. Turmoil in Carolina. New rumor says Hurricanes dressing room trouble could cause ulcer of Laviolette. So Peter Laviolette might be losing his job in Carolina as we saw not too long ago. They're not doing too good. They are 30, 42, and 5. Uh, Lubomir Wisniewski keeps fans on their feet all night. He had a hat trick against Anaheim. Red light stays on for Sergei Mozyakin in Columbus. He had a hat trick, three goals against Chicago. Sean O'Donnell has arrived at a thousand games played in his career, playing in Edmonton. He did that against Minnesota. Didn't get a point. 36 years old, Sean O'Donnell, two star talent. So. That's so decent. Alright, and now we are playing at home against Buffalo. So our last two games against Buffalo were pretty much massacres, 9-2 and 8-1. And yeah, it's not going any better for Buffalo. They're still 14th and we are 6-0-1 now against Buffalo. Last game of the season against the Sabres. You bet that they want to be done with us. So, Tim Thomas is going to be in net for that one for Buffalo. And we are going to Ryan Metter. And we won 2-0. So we went easy on them for that one, I guess. And we outshot Buffalo 55 to 12. Tim Thomas was the first star despite the loss. He made 53 saves. Johnny Oduya for Buffalo was the second star without any points. And Pavel Datsuk was the third star with a goal and an assist. 17,220 people in attendance for this game. Patrick Eliash opened up the scoring in the first from Mark Streit and Pavel Datsuk. And then Datsuk from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. 2 nothing sends after one. Uh, there was a fight between Anton Volchenkov and Jared Smithson in the second period. And that was about it. And there were a bunch of penalties, but no more goals. Ilya Kovalchuk's point streak ended at 13 games. It was held scoreless against Florida. Nigel Dawes is back from suspension for the Rangers. Sidney Crosby extends his assist streak to 8 games with an assist against the Islanders. Robbie Ftarik might get fired in San Jose. Uh, as we saw, San Jose is kind of meh this season. Oh, they, they went on a losing spree. They, they had a winning record when we faced them. They are now 32, 36, and 9. Oh, 
and he was fired. So Robbie Starek lost his job and he is replaced by Bruce Boudreau. So Bruce Boudreau is going to coach the Sharks. Uh, Don Maloney and uh, Don Maloney is the GM for Buffalo and he's on thin ice. He might lose his job. Buffalo is so terrible this year. All right, and the last game of the month of March is going to be against Boston in Boston. Uh, they are 48, 21, and 8. They are fifth in the East. We are 3, 1, and 2 against Boston this season. Let's see if we can beat them again. Ryan Miller and Yevgeny Nabokov in net. And we won 5-2, to two. so we end the month on a good note. Uh, we outshot the Bruins 41-27. to 27. Mark Streit was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Jason Spezza was a th second star with a goal and two assists. And Brooks Lyke was a third star with two goals. Boston opened up the scoring in the first, and then Mark Streit scored both of his goals. First one assisted by Jason Spezza, and then uh, the second one from Mezaros and Spezza. It was 2-1 Suns after 1. Then in the second period, Spezza scored on the power play from Michael Ryder and Mark Streit, and then Brooks Lake scored shorthanded from Mark Streit. It was 4-1 after 2. And then we traded goals in the third period, uh, with Boston scoring first, and then Brooks like scored from Mezaros and Patrick Elias, and it was 5-2. to two. And that's the final score today. Dmitry Bikov is available, and so is Thomas Fleischmann. I'm going to claim f Thomas Fleischmann. That's going to be a little bit of depth, uh, just in case that he develops. Uh, Jim Rutherford, the GM for the Islanders, might get fired. They are terrible. Uh, Rod Brennamore is back from suspension in Philadelphia. Duncan Keat got a concussion in Chicago. He's going to be out for three weeks. And Derek McKenzie has a memorable game in Montreal. He had three goals and an assist against Toronto. Uh, Jonas Lofsson is available, not picking him up. Suspension for Nicholas Avlid in Detroit. He is going to miss six games. Alex Tange has achieved 600 points in his career with a goal and an assist against the Wild. That's pretty good. There was no stopping Alexey Yashin. There he is. Alexey Yashin plays for the Wild now. So... He had a hat trick against Colorado. Yeah, it's still a pretty decent season for Yashin. 65 points in 28 games. Bad news for Pittsburgh. Yevgeny Malkin is hurt and he's going to miss seven months. Wow, they didn't need that. Yarmir Yager extends his point streak to 12 games. In that game, he had two assists against the Rangers. And Crosby also extends his point streak to 12 games. In that same game, he had two goals. But he didn't get an assist, so his assist streak ended at eight games. All right. So Travis Roach uh, for the Rangers got suspended. He's going to miss three games. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 13 games with two assists against the Rangers in that same game. Crosby also extended his point streak to 13 games with two goals and an assist. Ilya Kovalchuk has recorded 600 points in his career already and he's only 24 years old. And he got a goal and an assist against Tampa Bay. All right, and the players of the month are Thomas Placanitz of Montreal and Marc Andre Fleury in Pittsburgh. All 
All right, so we're still second in the East. We have no way of catching Pittsburgh because we are 10 points behind with three games left to play. So it's not mathematically possible. So the best we can do is to keep our spot. Uh, there is a chance that Montreal passes us in the standings if we were to falter here. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Now if we look in the West, they have Detroit, Edmonton, Dallas, Nashville, Columbus, Anaheim, Colorado and St. Louis. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that difference. That's crazy. Like the Blues might make the playoffs with a losing record. That's crazy. The worst playoff team in the East is the Flyers, and they are 42 35 and 2. Wow, the East is a lot stronger than the West, apparently. And if I remember correctly, it was quite the opposite back then. The West was kind of known for being, you know, like those big teams that would play heavy and everything, and yeah. All right, let's take a look at our team. Let's lo look at the stats. Now, Jason Spezzo had a nice game that might... Oh, yep, he is a 100-point player now. So, he has achieved that again. So, exactly 100 points in 79 games. Thornton is 80 and 78. Datsyuk is 73 and 77. And then it really goes down after that, like 48 for Osa, straight as 43, and then, you know, it just goes down. So it's really one line, and then the rest is kind of just dwindling down from there. Alright, and in the league, we have the best goal scorer as Ilya Kovalchuk with 60 goals. The best passer is Yarmir Jagger with 73 assists. And the best scorers are both Crosby and Jagger with 118 points each. Kovalchuk has 110 and Spezza is 4th with 100. Alright, so next episode, you know what's coming. Uh, it's gonna be the rest of the regular season and the playoffs. Uh, I don't feel like we are assured of winning the cup. Not that, you know... I was being super overly confident before, but I had a really strong team and I felt pretty strongly about my playoff runs. Uh, this year, Pittsburgh might be pretty tough to get through, so I don't know what's going to happen there if we do face them in the playoffs. Even Montreal is pretty good, so I don't know what's going to happen there. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game, you know the drill, and I do want to thank you for tuning in as usual. And if you've liked the video, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.